all across Africa, people depend on maize as an important food. But if it is not grown and harvested properly, molds will be able to grow on the maize. These molds can develop further in storage. Some types of mold or fungus secrete aflatoxins, which are poisons that most farmers and consumers do not know about. These poisonous aflatoxins get into our food. Extreme poisoning can damage your health right away. If you eat less aflatoxin, it can take longer to make you sick. Aflatoxins damage the liver and kidneys. For those who eat maize which has aflatoxins, the effect may not be seen today, but it will surely show later or even affect their children. So I advise them not to continue doing that. It is very dangerous for people and animals to eat maize affected by aflatoxins. Moldy grain given to livestock and poultry passes the poisons on to the animals, reducing their productivity. The poisons end up mainly in the milk and to a lesser extent in the meat and eggs. When people eat products that have been affected by aflatoxins, they can get diseases like cancer or they can even die. Also, if you feed these products to animals, you can get poison through their milk. In this video, we will see where these molds come from, how they develop, and how proper cultivation and harvesting will help keep us safe from these molds. Certain molds grow on maize, groundnuts and other foods. Some of these molds secrete poisons called aflatoxins. Aflatoxins are a byproduct of molds that live in the soil and feed on plant debris. You cannot see the molds when they are in the soil because they are very small, but when they get onto your maize, they can secrete a deadly poison. When we magnify the mold that lives on plant debris in the soil, we see that it is made up of tiny threads branching through the debris and obtaining nutrients there. A forest of tiny stalks sprouts from these threads. Each stalk carries chains of minute spores that are easily spread by the wind. The spores are far too small to see. When the spores land on the silk threads of the maize ear, the spores will germinate as we see here. The mold then grows from the silk threads and into the young kernels. Inside the kernel, the mold grows and secretes aflatoxin. Aflatoxin is colorless, but here we show it in yellow so you can see how aflatoxin spreads inside the kernels. At the early stage, the kernels may still seem free of mold on the outside. But after the fungus has grown inside the kernels for some time, the kernels may change color and the fungus may break through the surface of the kernels. If it does break through, the fungus produces masses of tiny stalks and millions of tiny new spores on the surface of the kernels and the ear. This is what we see as mold. So, now we know that these molds live in the soil and that the wind can carry their spores to the maize ears. Sometimes the kernels have mold and aflatoxin, but we cannot see them. The kernels look healthy, but they are not. Maize is more likely to become contaminated by aflatoxins when it is hot and the young maize suffers from drought.
by adding manure and keeping crop residues in your field, you can keep the soil moist longer so your crop will suffer less. Strong maize plants resist the fungus better. I put cow manure and leave the leftover maize stalks in my field. This adds nutrients to the soil and strengthens our plants. The plant will be able to fight against moles and aflatoxins. Farmers in Tanzania also intercrop their maize with pigeon peas. Pigeon peas make the soil more fertile and strengthen the maize. On sloping land, you can conserve soil moisture by making contour bands. Some farmers grow fodder grasses to strengthen their bands. You can also plant early to ensure that your maize will suffer less from drought and heat while the kernels are growing. As the ears grow bigger, the maize husk protects the kernels from molds. When insects eat holes in the husk or if birds eat the tip of the maize ear, Molds can easily enter and infest the entire maize ear. Maize needs water to grow, but as the crop matures, it needs to dry out. Wet weather around harvest time will make the mold grow faster. So, Aflatoxins comes from the parasite which develop when it is foggy. When fog enters the plants, it causes the maize to rot. Harvest your maize as soon as it is mature, when the husks are whitish. The longer you keep your maize in the field, the more your maize may be damaged by insects and birds. You know your maize is mature and ready to harvest when the stalks turn pale brown and the maize ears point downwards. You can leave your maize to dry for a week or two while in the field. But don't delay the harvest too much especially if you are expecting rain. When a late rain hits the dried ears and husks are damaged, the ears can easily get mold and aflatoxins. Inspect your maize field every few days. If it is drying nicely, you can leave the maize. But if it is starting to become damaged, you should harvest it right away. Harvest your crop in sunny weather because piles of damp maize ears are difficult to dry and molds will develop. When picking the ears, remember that the molds that cause aflatoxins live in the soil. If you remove the maize ears from the husks in the field, you can put the ears directly into baskets or bags to carry them home so that the ears do not touch the soil. Many farmers in the highlands of Tanzania cut the dried maize stalks with ears and pile them for a week or so before collecting the ears. After removing the husk, check every ear carefully for molds and discolored grain. Because signs are not always visible, also remove very light ears because mold infested ears are much lighter than healthy ones.
as the husk no longer protects the kernels, make sure the husked ears never touch the soil. You can collect the healthy ears on clean mats or tapolins. I avoid aflatoxins during harvest by putting our maize on tapolins so it cannot catch dust because the dust causes aflatoxins. Sort out any infested ears or remove the parts with discolored grain. Throw them on separate piles and destroy them in a pit. Before bringing home the harvested maize, I separate the healthy ones from the ones which have aflatoxins. I collect the bad ones at one place and burn them. Take your healthy harvest home to dry it further on a tapu leaf. So, what have we learned? Molds that grow on maize and on other food crops can develop deadly poisons called aflatoxins. These molds live in the soil can spread by wind and infest your crop when it suffers from drought, heat or injuries from birds and insects. By keeping your soil healthy and by planting early, your plants will be strong and less vulnerable to insects and molds. Once the maize is dry and the husk is whitish, harvest your maize within the next two weeks. Separate the healthy from the infested ears. Never put the healthy ears on the soil, otherwise molds will get on your maize and damage it during storage. Burn all the bad ears. Never feed them to your animals. People and animals should stay healthy at all times and never eat food with poisons.